What's going on y'all and welcome back to another video. As you can see, we're gonna be testing the unbrush today, but before we get into that, I just wanna make sure that I say thank y'all so much. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. Right now, I think we're at like 92,000. And I just wanna say thank you to all of my Afro heads, all my microphone heads out there that are just showing love and support. I appreciate y'all so much. If you're new to this page and this is your first video, bro, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you as well. And you can become a microphone head today by pressing that subscribe button. And don't forget to press that bell because apparently only 1% of y'all actually have that post notification turned on. So please go ahead and tap that bell. But as I mentioned before, the focus of today is the unbrush. It was trending on TikTok a while ago and um, I'm just now getting it, so why not test it out? If you really wanna know what is up with this brush, if it really is as amazing and as perfect as people make it seem, stay tuned, I got something for you. So my hair is already washed and I did test this on my dry hair already. Um, I've made a video on that and a lot of y'all were like questioning why I decided to test it on my dry hair. And that's because a lot of creators were actually testing it on their dry hair and making it seem like it was just this perfect product that was gliding through their hair effortlessly. And as you can see by the video, that just was not the case. It is a decent brush, it's just not as seamless as they were trying to make it seem. So today I'm going to be preparing with my freshly washed hair, it's wet already, and I'm going to use Carol's Daughter. This is the Born to Repair Collection leave-in conditioner, and we're going to see just how well it detangles for my wash day. So let's get into it. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE Today. Alright, so I'm going to treat this to like any wash day, and although this thing has some great reviews about how fast it can detangle your hair, I'm going in with the assumption that it's just any regular wash day. Regardless of the, what the reviews say about this brush, I'm going in with the expectation that this is about to be another average wash day and it's about to take me an hour, hour and a half for me to detangle my hair. So get comfortable. I got my TV on and um, if you didn't know, yes, I do wear glasses and I do need them to see. So I um, have them on the whole time. So yeah, I actually did the back of my hair for TikTok already. I'm not going to spoil the rating of this comb, but we're going to see right now. I got my leave-in conditioner here. Just gonna do about five pumps. What? Pause. We're gonna get as much as we need for right now. And just apply it to the roots first. And get a little bit more and apply it to the ends. I didn't make this clear, but I'm coming off of a like a one and a half week old toil out, so my hair is pretty tangled right now. Yeah, I showed y'all guys on TikTok how I do it, but basically it just consists of you know doing your finger coils, taking them out, and then over the course of that week, all I'm basically doing is like spraying my hair with water and then shaking it. So it's extremely tangled right now. That makes the perfect conditions to test out this brush. All right, this makes the perfect conditions because it's supposed to be a miracle worker. Y'all make it seem like it's the infinity gauntlet, like it can just solve any problem with your hair. But we gonna find out today. Now we're about to use the unbrush on this section of my hair. You always start from the ends, so here we go.
So, upon using it on that one section, I would say that it's not as perfect as the creators made it seem to be. However, however, um, and I said this before, it's better than any other conventional brush that I've ever used, and um, I would still recommend it. I think I need to use a little bit more conditioner because I definitely experienced some, uh, a little bit of pulling. So I definitely experienced a little bit of pulling, but I don't think it's anything out of the ordinary for a brush. I think any brush is gonna take hair out your head, especially since this coil I was in for a while. It might've been two weeks that I had it in if you consider the time I had my hair in coils. So um, this could also be a combination of dead hair as well as hair that's been pulled out. But usually when a tool pulls my hair, I'll have like irritation on my scalp and I'm not feeling much of that at all. I'm just gonna continue and do the rest of the parts now. Okay, so I haven't used the brush any different, but in this section I'm feeling a lot more pulling and I'm definitely getting some irritation um, on my scalp, uh, which means it's uh, it's actually pulling, so that's not great. But um, I guess we have to give the brush the benefit of the doubt just because my hair was in coils before this, so it's like extremely tangled. It's still pretty good though, it's just not perfect, you know? I think I've said that like five times, but it's true. Regardless of the amount of pulling I get, it's still not as bad as any other brush I've used. To compare it with a detangler that I usually use, which is this one, um, I don't get nearly as much hair being pulled out of my scalp. So W unbrush for that, but I feel like if you really want to avoid pulling your hair while trying to, you know, detangle, finger detangling is always a great way to do it. It's personally my favorite way to detangle, but you know, it just takes so long, sometimes it's much easier to just take a comb and deal with it. So, if you are one of those people, I completely understand. Do not worry, because I'm that person sometimes too.
the front of the hair is always the easiest to detangle, so I'm not really expecting a lot of pulling or breakage from this one. So yeah, this is my favorite part, guys. And I don't know why I did that, I just, sometimes I get excited and I just do weird things. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, but here's an example of a huge tangle in my hair, like, this is a result of the coil out. I don't know if you can see, like, the shape of the coil there, but... It's essentially become one big tangle, which has become the entirety of my head, so... Yeah, I'm losing too much hair. I'm about to finger detangle first, and then I'm gonna go back in with the, uh, with the comb. With the unbrush. With the unbrush. Alright, now that it's finger detangled, we're just gonna go in on the ends again. Alright, so I'm all done detangling 45 minutes later, which is really surprising because like I said, usually the detangling process for me is like at least an hour. Alright, so this definitely cut down some of the time. So I'll give it a thumbs up on its efficiency. It's very efficient. It gets the job done. But we got a problem. Oh. We got <laughs> we got a problem. I did lose quite a bit of hair, which was surprising. And uh, my hair was wet and everything. I didn't like force it through my hair. I started from the ends like you should with any brush. And I did lose um, hair detangling. Now I do have a lot of hair. Like I have, my hair goes down to about my chest. Um, almost nipple length. We almost had the nipple. But <laughs> so when I do detangle, like my strands are longer, so it appears like I have more, but this is uh, pretty normal for me on wash days. Honestly, I think it does a little bit better than a regular brush would do, but it's just not as fantastic as people are making it sound. Still giving it a thumbs up, it's a, it's a great product, it's just not a perfect product. Um, but they do have an Unbrush Plus, so if you want me to do a review on that, let me know in the comments, I'll be sure to do it. But I would say overall, I would give this product a seven and a half out of 10 um, based on its functionality, its efficiency, and you know, the amount of hair I lost while using it. Uh, I think overall it's a pretty solid product and I would definitely incorporate this into your wash days. But yeah, this was our first product review. So if you're interested in me doing more of these and you wanna see more content like this, let me know down in the comments. Also leave a like, comment, and subscribe while you're at it. <laughs> And uh, I'll catch you next time. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all. Peace and love. Have a great day. I know I'm destined for greatness. They say you're not gonna make your right hand on the Bible. I'm patiently waiting. You think they're your friend, but you talking to Satan. She said my pockets ain't big enough. They was laughing, yeah, they told me to give it up. Now I'm running through the bins like a double dust. Lost some people, man, I wish you was here with us. Back then as a kid, rags and riches is all that we wish. Giving my all, tell me why would I quit? Along with the sharks, I ain't swim with the fish. Switching my landscape, I remember days I didn't have no faith. Now I'm